And a happy Thursday evening to you folks. Hope you're ready for some NBA action here on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Alongside Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill, I'm Brian Anderson. We'll be joined by Ali LaForce courtside. Well, a chance to check out some stats for George Niang. Over his last 10 games, his three-point shooting has gotten a lot better. He looks very confident from deep. There's no doubt he's got the green light to shoot from his coaching staff. A look at the opening lineup for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mitchell and Struess for the backcourt. Dean Wade is out there with Jared Allen. And it's Okoro in at the three, the small forward. And for the Bucks, Giannis and Lopez together down low. Filling out the wings, it's Beasley and Middleton. And it's Lillard in at point guard. And over a long regular season, Grant, what are some of the things coaches do to keep things fresh and their players engaged? Well, you said it best. It is a long season. And to keep it light, you have to have team outings and, and dinners and guest speakers. Intentional connections, that's what I call it. And really, there's so much pressure in this league. So those moments really allow you to bond and relax and really come together as a group. So the Bucks win the tip. Beasley outside. Lillard, a screen on Struess. Beasley, the pass to Lopez. Now here's Lillard. Checked by Mitchell. The shot by Lillard. No good. And it's Allen with the ball for Cleveland. Now Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Lillard. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. Well, the perfect frame for a modern defensive big man. Jared Allen at 6'9 with a 7'5 wingspan. Yeah, and he's able to move laterally and contest vertically. Not a lot of flash to his game. He was an effective, though, and he is a linchpin for them inside. The first one falls. And what you love about the Cavs, on most nights, they take really good shots, Grant. Uh, they do, B.A. I mean, I love the way they work the ball into the painted area. And even their guards are constantly penetrating, getting into the paint, creating for themselves and their teammates. That one's no good. Well, Grant, how do the Bucks put the pieces back together and make a run at another title? Well, the hope is this new coaching staff will unlock some new wrinkles and find ways to keep their offense from stalling in the clutch. Now here's Mitchell. 23 points his last outing. From 12 feet. That one rolls around and rims out. Anadokupo finds Middleton. Now Lopez. Allen defending. We played just over a minute here in the first. Pass to Struess. On the wing, Mitchell. Beyond the arc. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the board. Lillard with the ball. Picked up by Allen. And it's Jared Allen with the foul. That's his first foul of the game. He tried to gain position, but couldn't quite get there. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. Beasley outside. Fires for three. Gets the three to fall. Just a selfless play by Giannis. He knows all eyes are on him, so he dishes to a ready shooter. Mitchell against Lillard. Free throw line jumper, and that one's good. Mitchell. Mitchell. Obviously, this guy has a talent for scoring. Able to problem solve for whatever the defense tosses at him. Mitchell against Lillard. No good on the three. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Pass to Okoro. The three. Rebounded by the Bucks. Adenakumpo has got four rebounds now. And the 
jam by Ana de Kupo. And good luck stopping that. Giannis just makes it look so easy. Outside Struess. Here's Wade. Back to Struess. Now here's Mitchell. Shot clock at five. This one for three. Nice. Gets his second bucket. He's two for four now. That's cash. Mitchell is a volume three-point shooter for a reason now. Out of the Kumpo. The pass to Lillard. The three is up. Cavaliers with a rebound. They just couldn't come out on top last time they took on the Bucks. That one in Milwaukee. Last time, free throw shooting was their kryptonite. Just could not keep pace. Now here's Mitchell. He's got five. And the Cavaliers, another three. His accuracy is on another level this quarter. Really high quality shooting. And here is Hanada Kumpo. And that's a foul called on Donovan Mitchell. That's his first foul of the game. Second team foul. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Out of the Kumpo, the pass to Beasley. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. The Cavaliers leading. Pass to Struess. Here's Allen. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. Allen with a screen on Lillard. And there's the lob. And it's Allen who slams it home. Fantastic work from Allen. Taking the contact on the chin. Burying the shot. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Lillard against Mitchell. Out of the Kumpo. Outside. Lopez. The screen. Six to shoot. Out of the Kumpo. Finds Lopez. Sinks the tray. Smart shot from Lopez. If he's got a decent look and can avoid putting the ball on the deck, he's got to pull the trigger. Wait. The pass to Mitchell. Drives to the hoop. Beasley against Struess. The three from Okoro. And the Cavaliers, another three. An <laughs> excellent perimeter offense so far. Their shooters are clearly in a great rhythm. Lillard against Mitchell. Lillard passes to Lopez. Ooh, stolen by Allen. From deep, Struess. Giannis with the rebound. Adana Kumpo has got five rebounds tonight. Lillard outside. Pass to Lopez. Adana Kumpo for three. Buries it from three. Adana Kumpo's got five points. And some fans wince when he takes them. But Giannis can and will hit the occasional three-point shot. Here's Okoro. Middleton covering. Mitchell with the ball. Allen with a screen on Lillard. Just five on the clock. And it's Mitchell. The miss. And so Middleton will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a three-point game. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Cavaliers. What about their offense? It was a well-oiled machine. Getting them high-quality looks time and time again. The coaching staff has been happy with how well they've executed the game plan. They operated as a cohesive unit. Now here's Mitchell. Give him eight. Allen a screen. Struess with it. And Lopez picks him up. Struess the pass to Wade. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Lillard against Mitchell. Beasley for three. And the box hit again from deep. 12 straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. Beasley against Struess. Okoro on the wing. Back to Struess. From deep, Mitchell. Rebounded by the Bucks. 
Hunter Kupo's got six rebounds now in the game. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Everything right except the finish. Have to keep focus all the way through the play. Mitchell against Lillard. Struess with a screen on Lillard. Pass to Wade. Cleveland needs to get off a shot. Allen can't get it to go. For Milwaukee, they've got half their attempts to go. 6 of 12. Mitchell against Middleton. Here's Lopez. Banked it in off the glass. Lopez has gotten his second bucket on the night. And using that size to his advantage. I, mean, I like it when Lopez establishes himself inside and looks to capitalize. Cleveland calls timeout. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh. Keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. And some changes here for the Bucks. Bochamp comes in for Chris Middleton, and it's Connaughton in for Beasley. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Porter Jr.'s checked in. Now here's Porter. Puts it up from 12. Struess up top. Pass to Allen. Now here's Porter on the wing. Wade. And here's Allen. Rejected by Kumpo. Yeah, such an imposing defensive force. Giannis with the great timing on the rejection. Lillard fires away from way outside. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got his fourth rebound in this one. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Allen with a screen on Lillard. Order the pass to Allen. Rejected by Lopez. Just an effective shot blocker. Lopez using all of that seven feet, and he does a great job of picking his spots. Pass to Connaughton. Anadokounmpo against Porter. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Good! Another from three. And would you believe he's nearing fourth place for most three-pointers of all time? Believe it. Not only does he have the talent, but he never stops working on a shot. And considering the run that he's on, I mean, you look ahead to the top three in this category. You got guys like Harden, Allen, and Curry. And he fits right in with those guys, which speaks to how amazing a shooter he really is. Here's Porter outside, and he buries his first look. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. Milwaukee in the lead. Kumpo outside. Connaughton passes to Lillard. Kumpo inside. Lays it in without an inch of room around him. 157 left to play in the first. Outside, Struess. Allen, outside. Okoro passes to Porter. Here's Struess. The three is up. And the Cavaliers, another three. And that's on the defense, giving him a decent look. That's his shot. You know, Richard, in 2023, the Cavs reached the playoffs without LeBron James for the first time since 98. B.A., that's the year I graduated high school, and that's just the beginning for this team. The Cavs have drafted well, they've made some big-time trades, and their core players are only getting better. Now here's Allen. He had a 21-point out again their last game against the Bucks in Milwaukee. Struess's shot is off. The Bucks shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Pass to Lillard. Back to Anadokounmpo. From eight feet. Good. And it's Lillard who picks up the assist. Anadokounmpo has got nine. They always say great offense trumps great defense. You can play great D against Giannis, and it doesn't seem to mean a thing. Now here's Porter. 
Now here's Struess. Fires the three. And so far in this one, two for four. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. And so it's Lillard who brings up the ball for the Bucks. Lopez, the screen on Porter. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. Hits the trifecta. He has six. Only two of eight to start this game. We'll see if that bucket gets him going. Porter, the pass to Struess. Here's Wade. Takes the three. It's another three for Cleveland. All five of the last buckets they've given up have been from downtown. Lillard looking around. Pass to Lopez. Now on to Kumpo. Connaughton outside. And here's Lillard. Back to Ana Kumpo. For three. He can't get it to go. Tie game in Milwaukee. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. 29. The Cavaliers. 29. This has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. And when you consider how the Bucks are doing, guys, your thoughts? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, it's clearly a focus for them in this one. And no question that all the second chance looks are paying off. Well, Cleveland's shooting around 50% of the game so far. Bobby Portis out there with Jay Crowder. Then it's Chris Middleton. Then there's Campaign. And it's Bochamp in at the two spot. That's the group from Milwaukee right now. Nails the contested jumper. Look at Mitchell. Making shots against tough defense. All NBA players like Mitchell have to do that. They get so much attention. Crowder, a screen on the vert. Middleton from the outside. Mitchell grabs a miss. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Crowder against Levert. Back to Mitchell. And he lobs it up top. The game with Mitchell is more about putting up points, but Donovan can dish too. The Bucks trail. It's Middleton on the wing. He's checked by Levert. Middleton passes to Portis. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Portis has gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Now here's Mitchell. Ten points for him. Pass to Niang. Jones with the ball. And Cameron Payne is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. Beasley's checked in for the Bucks. First team foul. Coming out to the floor for your Molly Beasley. On defense, the Bucks order the pass to Jones. The three from Mitchell. Offensive rebound. And another shot. And it's laid up and in by Porter. Porter's got his second bucket on the night. That'll drive your coach crazy. Failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you think you got to stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work on the glass. You literally practice that every day. Now here's Payne. Still without a bucket. Pass to Portis. Puts up a three. Oh, almost had a four-point play right there. But he'll go to the line with a chance for three. Well, the saying is defense wins championships. But in this day and age, don't you need both? No question, B.A., you definitely do. I mean, we've seen plenty of great defenses flame out in the playoffs because they couldn't put up points. Defense alone isn't enough. You need a balance of both. And he's good on the first of three.
He hits the second from the line. And he can't make it three for three. For Cleveland, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Here's Levert. That one drops, and it comes off an assist from Porter. Porter's got three assists in the game. <laughs> this is all you can do if you're the defense. Levert is excellent at gutting his way through physical coverage. Now here's Middleton. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against Cleveland. Also, his ability to push the action and get to the line made a huge difference. Here's Mitchell. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. Niang a screen. Mitchell with the ball. Portis picks him up. Niang, the pass to Porter. Back to Niang. Clock at six. Jacks up a three. Good D by Middleton. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Payne finds Portis. Portis with a screen on Porter. Here's Payne. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Off the court, Cameron Payne has really put in the work paying back the community. Grant, he was a very deserving recipient of the NBA Cares Community Assist Award. Payne knows giving back is one of the best ways that you can spend your time as a player. Ties it up, and his next one could give him the lead. A different look for Cleveland. Struess comes in for Levert, and Okoro is subbed in for Porter Jr. That one misses, so he goes one for two. I know he's kicking himself for not snatching the lead. But look, he tied things up. Okoro, no good. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. And he's going for the oop here. That gives him the lead. And the Bucks lead by two. Oh, incredible. Save that one. I want to watch it again. Awesome. Jones with a screen on Payne. Here's Mitchell. Got a hand on it. Pass to Payne. And almost four minutes gone in the second quarter of play. Portis with a speed on Struess. And the lamp is good off the glass. And now a four-point Bucks lead. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Struess with it. Left side Jones to win the run. And he knocks it down. He's three of five now from the floor. Smart decision to kick it out to another guy once the defense is fixated on him in the paint. Now here's Middleton. The D's right on him. A proven champion. Middleton is someone any team would love to have. A great player and a great locker room presence as well. Chris Middleton. Two shots. And he makes a first. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Damian Lillard's checked in for Payne. Wade, he's checked in for Cleveland. That one falls, so he hits both of them. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. 
It's just so difficult to win when you waste as many chances at the line as they did. Oh, that is well said. They're being handed free points and just couldn't convert. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, Damian Lillard embraces the big moments. He said, quote, I don't know why. I just do it. It's internal. I'm always talking to myself like, quote, I have to find a way. This is an opportunity to rise and to come up big. You've got to get it going. It's a real thing. You just demand that something extra of yourself. Brian? Thank you, Ali. Game time is very real. Here's Wade. Six points for him. Down to five on the shot clock. Okoro passes to Wade. Here's Mitchell. It's hauled in by Portis. Not that time, but that's a shot that he's going to make more often times than not. Here's Lillard. He had 28 points in the win against Cleveland. Going inside, Lillard for two. Inside, Lillard can deliver. He's a skilled finisher. Mitchell against Lillard. Jones with a screen on Lillard. Jones with the ball. Pass to Struess. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Second team foul. Shooting for Cleveland. Back Struess. At the line for two. And he drops the first. And the Bucks making a change here. On an Akumpo's checked in. Struce drops them both. Milwaukee has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Pass to Lillard. They set the pick. Here's Portis, defended by Jones. The jump hook, and Portis finishes. Portis has got nine points in the quarter. Looks like we're starting to see a pattern here. Not afraid to get in the paint and get wet. Mitchell. 12 points for him. Struess's shot is off. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. On to Kumpo Inside. Check by Mitchell. Yeah. That one drops for him. Hey guys, the way this defense is getting manhandled down low, you have to wonder if they're at 100% right now. Outside Jones. Inside. Here's Struess. And down it goes. Dunked it through off a beautiful setup. And in traffic, he uses the reverse to keep the shot blocker at bay. What an incredible move. Not everyone has that kind of skill. Lillard, again, the box. Good for two. It just shows how good a shooter Lillard is. Scoring outside his usual comfort zone. Outside Jones. Back to Mitchell. Pass to Wade. The three from Okoro gets it to drop. Now two of four. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Anadokounmpo up top. A 35-point game for him in the win against Cleveland. And his court vision was sensational as well. He was making all the right decisions. At the line for the box. Giannis Adetokounmpo, two shots. The first free throw is good. And the resume Giannis has built already is impressive. And he's nowhere close to being done adding to it. Bochamp, he's checked in for the Bucks. Allen, he's checked in for the Cavs. 
Porter Jr. comes in for Mitchell. That one misses. And so Porter will bring it up for Cleveland. And here's Struess. 13 points in the game. Wade, the pass to Okoro. No good with the triple. Milwaukee in the lead. Pass to Lillard. To the paint. And then Portis with the dunk. And although he's undersized at his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. Porter against Lillard. Struess with a screen on Lillard. Porter, the pass to Struess. Off target from three-point range. That is not a guy you want to allow open hooks from range. Lucky for the defense, he just couldn't get it to go. Pass to Lillard. Now here's Portis. Chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. The Cavaliers have gotten half their shots to fall in the second. Eight for 16. Allen with a screen on Lillard. Outside Porter. Let's the three fly. Milwaukee with the rebound. Now here's Lillard. He's got 13. Now to Portis. Three-pointer. Good. And Anadokounmpo gets the assist. Anadokounmpo's got assist number five here tonight. Well, the Cavaliers shooting 47% so far in the second. Allen outside. Pass to Porter. Here's Wade. He has six. Porter gets the bucket. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Porter against Lillard. From deep. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Allen's got his eighth rebound here tonight. And establishing himself as a sneaky good scorer, Dean Wade. He has that high, quick release on his shot. He's a pretty good ball handler to B.A. And you have to appreciate the step backs and fadeaways from mid-range. Now here's Porter. Seven points in the game. Four on the clock. Pass to Wade. The three from Okoro. And the three-pointer goes. Okoro's got six in the quarter. He got a three to fall in the first, and now his second in this quarter. Not a trend the defense wants to see. Here's Beasley. And here's Portis. Allen defending. Portis gets the bucket. Portis has got 16 points now. He was inside his own head in that first quarter. You could see it. Now he's doing a much better job of letting the game come to him. Outside Struess from the arc. It's another three for Cleveland. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter especially. Lillard passes to Bochamp. Out to the right wing. Here's Portis for three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Pass to Porter. Allen a screen from 13. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Anadokounmpo has got the glass covered here tonight. That's 11 boards for him. Here's Lillard. Oh, tough shot, Lillard. After failing to get going in the first quarter, he's looked much better here in the second. The Cavs trailing. Porter with it. He has seven. Allen with a screen on Lillard. Porter, the pass to Allen. Over Portis. Allen can't get it to go. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. The three-pointer off the mark. 
A big time effort for Bobby Portis, providing a lot of energy for Milwaukee. Oh, what a quarter. He was absolutely on fire offensively. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Doc Rivers and Coach. You guys came out aggressive in the first half. What stood out to you? You know, we're getting to the paint and making plays. They're a great team as far as rotation, so we just got to make the right passes. It all starts with attacking the basket. Thanks, Doc. Okay, Allie, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. Welcome, everyone, as we dig into the details, things working out so far for the Milwaukee Bucks. We were just in the green room watching this game. What was your highlight of the first half? I really like those wings. Oh, you talking about the game or the wings? Anyway, I like the wings we had in the back. Yeah, Kenny. I like the hummus. The Kenny. hummus was pretty that good. That sauce was on point. Ooh, yes, it was. You know, I actually was talking about the game. Uh, why has it always got to be about food with you two? All right, let's talk about the first half. A little bit of ground to make up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. I haven't really seen the effort from them in terms of rebounding. In fact, at times, they're getting straight bullied. And that's certainly costing them right now. But effort is something you have control over. We'll see how they come out in the second half. That does it for halftime. Let's get back to game action. Here's Brian Anderson with the start of the third quarter. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Bobby Portis in his bag in this one. And in the first half, he dominated in the post. He got the looks he wanted and was able to execute. The question now is, will the defense keep letting him punish them inside? Or did Coach have some new ideas for them? Setting the floor for the Cavaliers. Mitchell and Struess are the backcourt. Jared Allen out there with Dean Wade. And it's Okoro in at the three spot. <laughs> Just so lethal in the open floor. I mean, Lillard is impossible to keep up with given his speed and athleticism. So it's the Cavaliers now. The Bucks getting their last shot to go. Struess with the bucket. They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. Lillard against Mitchell. Lillard passes to Lopez. Yes! Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got five assists tonight. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Had he played to stop that easy layup right there. I mean, make him earn it at the line. Isaac Okoro. Two shots. down the first one. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. I'll tell you what, they've been aggressive and they've been physical. And it's Lillard, that time on the assist by Middleton. Middleton's got his third assist of the night. Pass to Allen. Outside Struess. Allen a screen. Struess the pass to Allen. And it's Allen who slams it home. Allen has to be in the conversation for the best role man in the league right now. Look, he sets solid screens and then he's an efficient finisher down low. Lillard against Mitchell. Lopez, the screen on Mitchell. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. No good. Their first miss since the break still. I like how they've come out so far. Let's go with a three. 
Milwaukee with the rebound. Anacupo's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Lopez. The rebound by Allen. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Struce with a screen on Beasley. Here's Mitchell. Finds the bottom from 13 feet out. And it's now only a five-point Milwaukee lead. A nice start to the third. Three out of four and looking good doing it. Lillard against Mitchell. Launches a three. Oh, Dame time! After a tremendous first quarter, three trays, he's put in another. Mitchell against Lillard. Pass to Okoro. Struce with a screen on Middleton. Okoro. And the shot counts. He's fouled. And it's a chance for a three-point play. Second team foul. At the line for the Cavaliers. Isaac Okoro. At the line for one. Free throw, no good. And that's their first miss after hitting four in a row to start the half. Out left to the wing. And they double up on it, Acumpo. Pass to Lopez. On it, Acumpo surveys. Hey, expanding his range. The rebound by Donovan Mitchell for Cleveland. They've gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Here's Okoro. Allen on the wing. Covered by Lopez. Allen, pass to Mitchell. And it's off from three-point range. <laughs> Just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. The feed! The jam! Giannis! Throw it up to the rim and let Giannis hammer it home. Never a bad idea. Now Allen... He's got five. Allen with a screen on Beasley. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. At the line for one. on the glass and continues to improve as a scorer. Here's Lillard. 22 points for him. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Hey, B.A., well, the Cavaliers are one of the best young teams in the league, and it's up to their point guard, Darius Garland, to help distribute. He said, quote, we have so much talent on the floor. I just try to get my big fellows the ball so they can stay active and work for us on the defensive end as well. That's the game within the game right there, Brian. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Good stuff, Allie. Thank you. Now here's Mitchell. 14 points for him. Offline with a three. He just looks off this quarter. Looks like he's forcing it a bit right now. A little bit in his head. Mitchell against Lillard. Lillard on the drive. Uses the glass on the layup. Lillard's got nine points here in the second half. I mean, he makes those in his sleep. And I'm sure Lillard's hit harder in practice. Pass to Struess. Down low. Here's Allen. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. First personal foul. Almost converts despite the contact. Shooting for Cleveland. Jared Allen taking two shots. One misses. And 
and he's good on the second. Milwaukee has gone one of four here in the third from range. Pass to Middleton. Oh, misses the dunk. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for the Cleveland Cavaliers. 4-3. The rebound by the Bucks. This has not been his best quarter. Yeah, he needs to mix things up on the offense. He simply just can't keep missing shots at this rate because he's destroying his teammates. Here's Middleton. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Portis against Mitchell. Here's Allen. Rebound by Middleton. For Milwaukee, they've gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And that comes off the assist by Middleton. Middleton's got five assists in the game. Mitchell against Lillard. Mitchell, the pass to Struess. Back to Mitchell. The three is up. From outside, Not Mitchell is good. Job. It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Take that, he says. I see your three, and I'll raise you another three. And Lillard puts up a deep three. And the Bucks hit again from deep. Talk about putting a team on your back. He has been dominant this quarter, and I don't think they are winning without him. Lillard against Mitchell. Allen with a screen on Lillard. Here's Mitchell. Gets the 14-footer to fall. Mitchell. Mitchell's got seven now in this quarter. Perfect use of the pick and roll. Mitchell just taking what the defense gives him. Well, Grant, there's one thing Mitchell will always be remembered for by Cavs fans. Oh, so true, B.A. I mean, 71 points in a game in the 2022-23 season, setting a Cleveland franchise record. And for a franchise that has had so many great players, including the likes of LeBron James. And Allen gets it to go. As a player, a rough first half, Mitchell, it can wake you up. Sometimes it leads to much improved play in the second half. Milwaukee has gone three of seven from deep so far in the third quarter. Lillard outside. Portis for three. That is now his seventh field goal in ten attempts. Impressive. This defense is getting spaced out. Three of the last five buckets have come from way beyond the arc. Outside Struess. Allen outside. Here's Wade. On an Akumpo covering. Just five to shoot. Really left him alone that time. Mitchell's got nine points here in the second half. Whether he's initiating the offense or playing off the ball, Mitchell is equally effective. Lillard outside. Jacks up a three. And the Bucks hit again from deep. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Allen. He's got 11. Here's Mitchell. Mitchell down low. And he's single-handedly trying to keep them alive. Terrific scoring quarter. Will it be enough, though? To the inside. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. The Cavaliers pull it in. Allen's got 13 rebounds in the game. Glass eating. Struess the pass to Okoro. Allen with a screen on Beasley. Pass to Allen. Mitchell from deep three-point land. Giannis with the rebound. Honor Kupos. Lillard outside. And here's Beasley. Portis with it. That one is off. Great D that time from Allen. The Cavs trailing. Okoro passes to Mitchell. Now here's Allen. Outside Struess. 
Allen with the screen on Middleton. Struess with the bucket. And that bucket from beyond the arc puts them within reach. He's really been putting that shot to work. And I bet he's thinking that he can close the gap completely if he can keep those threes coming. Time called here. The Bucks decide to talk it over. And the Bucks with some changes. Crowder, he's checked in for Ana Cupo. Bochamp comes in for Beasley. And Payne is subbed in for Damian Lillard. Pass to Middleton. Payne with it. Crowder outside. Portis the screen. Three-pointer. Cavaliers with a rebound. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. And here is Porter. He has seven. Pass to Niang. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Portis. Niang, no good. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still misses it. Middleton looking around. Portis with it. Defended by Nia. Portis gets the bucket. I mean, the versatility of Middleton. Not just a score, also a solid passer and distributor. Allen against Portis. Levert outside. Back to Allen. Outside Porter. Pulls it from the corner. Nia. That's good. Assist goes to Porter. Now here's Payne. And right now he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Portis with a screen on Porter. Outside Payne. To the left wing. There's the help with Levert. Crowder outside. Puts up a three. Doesn't go for him. And it's Porter with the ball for the Cavaliers. Trailing by four. Levert finds Allen. Now here's Mitchell. He's closely guarded. Pulls it from the top of the key. The shot won't fall. Just a big time effort for Damian Lillard. Providing a lot of energy for Milwaukee. Knocking down three after three. He's up to seven three-pointers tonight. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. That's an unguardable pass, flat out. Give him credit for possessing that type of vision. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far. With this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. We've got Damian Lillard. Jake Crowder is out there with Bobby Portis. Then it's Malik Beasley, and it's Bochamp in at the three. That's the five on the floor for the Bucks. And so the ball out of bounds. Jones touched it last. Here's Lillard. Drops one in from the wing. Lillard's got 35 in the game. And you see why he's one of the top scorers in the league. Lillard does it in so many ways. Here's Mitchell. That one rolls around and rims out. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. Crowder. And Crowder with the jam. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. The shot by Levert, no good. 
Milwaukee in the lead. And here's Lillard from beyond the arc. And it's Niang with a rebound. Well, the Cavaliers' shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. Outside Mitchell. Niang a screen. Fires the three. And that one's good. Donovan Mitchell for three. He's got 26. He's put up some huge point totals in his career. Looks like we'll be adding this one to Mitchell's list. Beasley has to Bochan. Trying to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Cleveland has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. Levert finds Jones. Milwaukee foul. Bochan, second personal foul. First team foul. Pass to Jones. Levert outside. Clock at six. Nia left side. Let's it go from deep. And the Cavaliers, another three. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Mitchell against Beasley. Portis outside. Outside. And the Bucks miss again. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for him. Now here's Lillard to the middle. Here's Portis. Yes. Great play by Lillard to set it up. Lillard's got seven assists in the game. For Cleveland, they've gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Porter against Lillard. Porter, the pass to Mitchell. Five to shoot to take the lead. Nails it from three. Mitchell. Mitchell's got 31. Wow. <laughs> Their opponent is doing a tremendous job spacing the floor. Portis with a screen on Porter. The three. Here's Lillard. Lillard with a rebound. The Cavaliers have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Porter pass to Niang. Here's Jones. Pass to Lillard. Niang outside. Porter with it. Outside Mitchell. Jones with a screen on Beasley. Knocks it down from distance. And now a four-point Cleveland lead. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. For three, here's Lillard. Lillard with a rebound. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Takes it inside. And the shot goes in. And the Cavaliers lead by six. And Lavert is a tremendous athlete. Once he gets into the lane, he's terrific at finding ways to finish. The shot by Lillard, no good. Whatever rhythm he had last quarter, it has left his body. He is having a hard time finding buckets. Now here's Mitchell. Here's Niang. Three-pointer off the mark. Oh, it's stolen by Mitchell. Levert with the ball. Beasley covers. Mitchell, the pass to Levert. Niang with it. He's against Crowder. Here's Porter. And he gets that one. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Milwaukee calls timeout. for the Bucks. Brooke Lopez is checked in for Portis. Ana Nakumpo comes in for Crowder. Chris Middleton's checked in for Boche. And Payne is subbed in for Damian Lillard. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Allen, he's checked in for Jones. Wade comes in for Niang. Okoro, 
has checked in for Levert. And it's Struess in for Porter Jr. Let's check in with our reporter, Allie LaForce. Hey guys, during that last break, I heard Doc Rivers as he talked with the team. He applauded their shooting and their shot selection, saying, we're taking the right threes, not forcing anything. Keep doing that, and they'll continue to fall. Makes the game easy, doesn't it? And Allie, thanks. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. The Bucks trail. Pass to Lopez. And here is Hanada Kupo. And they double up Hanada Kupo. Middleton, a good look. And a great assist by Hanada Kupo. And that one goes in. Yeah, as good as anyone on the catch and shoot, Middleton deposits another J. Now here's Allen, covered by Lopez. Struess against Beasley. The putback. It's good on the putback. And those second chance buckets are major bonus points if you can get them. Beasley finds Payne. Pass to Lopez. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Wade's got six rebounds here tonight. Mitchell, the pass to Struess. Here's Wade. There's the triple. Drops in the three. And now an 11-point Cleveland lead. And their strategy is obvious. Manufacture looks from outside the arc. With the way they're shooting, there's no need to look for any other shot. Just keep letting it rain. Now here's Payne. Out to the wing. Six to shoot. Here's Anna Kumpo. Oh, Giannis yes. using his size inside. And Giannis oh. has a ridiculous combination of size, skill, and athleticism. Allen with a screen on Payne. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. Rebounded by Lopez. Lopez has got seven rebounds in the game. Pass to Anna Kumpo. Back to Payne. Good! And Anna Kumpo gets the assist. Anna Kumpo has got assist number eight now on the night. Here's Akuro. Middleton covering. And Akuro gets it to go. And the Cavaliers lead by nine. <laughs> They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Man, this has been a fun one. But look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Now here's Payne. Pass to Lopez. Out of bounds. It'll be Cleveland ball. And the Bucks making a change here. Lillard's checked in. Number zero. Damian Lillard. And here comes Cleveland. Outside Struess. Here's the pick. Going inside. Rejected by Lopez. Lillard outside. And he lobs it up to the rim. And the jam by Anna Kumpo. Great idea by Lillard. Using that experience to run the offense. Mitchell, the pass to Allen. Allen with a screen on Lillard. Here's Mitchell. Bullseye! Mitchell. Mitchell's got 38 points. For Milwaukee, they've gotten 8 of 15 during the fourth quarter. Lopez, the screen on Mitchell. For three, here's Lillard. Lillard drains the outside shot. He's been a bright spot in their play today, but he can really use some help. Cleveland calls timeout. And here are the Cavaliers now. Six-point lead. Here's Akuro. Middleton covering.
Here's the Kuro. Five on the clock. Pass to Allen. He puts up a three. It's another three for Cleveland. Look, if Allen is going to hit that shot, your whole defensive strategy has to change. Milwaukee is gone just one of six from downtown in this final quarter. Anacumpo is doubled. Allen against Lopez. Pass to Middleton. Basket's good. Here's Mitchell. Nothing has slowed him down yet. Almost 40 points on the night in county. Over Lillard. And there are the Cavaliers with another bucket. Showing off his skills as a shooter. Mitchell knocking down that mid-range look. Lillard against Mitchell. Lillard passes to Anadokounmpo. And so the ball out of bounds. Anadokounmpo touched it last. A minute 29 left in the fourth quarter. Mitchell against Lillard. Allen outside. Pass to Mitchell. Shot clock at six. From deep, Struess counted. Now eight for 13 with that basket. And there's no way this margin gets closed down. Great execution of a game plan and a nice win here for the Cavaliers. What a huge win for them tonight. It seemed like all was lost for them, but then they battled back. Yeah, games like this one can really define a team. They were able to prove that they could bounce back from even the most dire circumstances. That'll do it for this one. They've earned their 27th victory of the year tonight. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Donovan Mitchell. He did a great job following his team's game plan and not rushing anything on offense, which allowed him to catch fire. Two shots. Free throws drop for Struess. And a new group getting ready for the Bucks. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Connaughton comes in for Middleton. Jackson, he's checked in for Beasley. And Payne is subbed in for Damian Lillard. And the Cavaliers will go for a different look here. Jones, he's checked in for Allen. Niang comes in for Wade. Levert's checked in for Okoro. And it's Porter Jr. in for Mitchell. Hits both from the stripe. Huge moment. He steps up and sinks the final daggers. Payne against Porter. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. And the game plan for them should be simple. Keep getting it to Giannis. The Greek freak is on fire. D.A. outside. Bird outside. Jones with a screen on Jackson. Back to Nia. From deep. Sinks it from distance. And the Cavaliers lead by 13. This is what winning is all about. Playing your best when it matters most. And let me tell you, as a team, you love to hit your stride right at the crucial moment. They put this game away in style. And so Cleveland yeah, takes this one game. by a big margin. It ends up being a Thanks fairly easy road win. Those are so hard to come by. It's never easy to take a game in someone else's building. And that about wraps it up for our terrific 2K Sports crew. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for watching. Now our New Balance player of the game, Donovan Mitchell.